Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to talk about setting the coil air gap on Pook moped engines. It could be for an E50 or a ZA50. It's really simple to do and I don't think a lot of people know about it. And there's two different ways you can do it. You can either do it with feeler gauges, which is pretty common, or you can do it with painter's tape, which is even more common. I'll post a link to the feeler gauge and some of the tools that I'm going to use. Um, if you buy those, it helps me out. Otherwise, you can like and subscribe, that helps me, or buy me a coffee. The air gap that we're trying to set is the little gap between the coil and the flywheel. These big feeler gauges don't work very good. You need a real skinny one. And you can stick it in there like that, and you can test it. The easy way to do this with the feeler gauge is to loosen these screws, and then your coil will be rubbing. You can usually slide the coil up and insert your feeler gauge. Stock is 0.4 millimeters to 0.6 millimeters, so I'm doing 0.5 millimeters. That is in there now, so you can insert that feeler gauge and then tighten this side down, slide it out, and then you have to do the same for the top. Push the coil away a little bit, slide this in, tighten the coil, pull this out and now you have clearance. There's another really easy way to do this with painter's tape. Painter's tape is about 0.1 millimeter thick, so you can just layer this up. First thing is take your flywheel off. This is a M26 by 1.5 puller. I'll post a link to that. Take your painter's tape. Remember this is 0.1 millimeter. Put it on there good. And we are trying to get to 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeters. So now we're at 0.2. Make sure it's really smooth. You can, you can get away with just three layers of tape. That'll give you the most power. Uh, if you go less than that, it might rub and you don't want that. Uh, so you do at least three to be safe. I'm gonna do four which is 0.4 millimeters. If you have thinner painter's tape, that'll make it easier too. I just grabbed what was laying around. Once you have your painter's tape on, make sure it's very smooth. It's not sticking out or bunched anywhere. Put your flywheel back on. Loosen up your coil. Now you can see that it is rotating and it is rubbing because there's that tape in there for clearance. All right, then once you get it in a nice place, tighten the coils back up. And then take your flywheel off again. Okay. Take your tape off. Now you can reinstall the flywheel and it'll be clearanced perfect. Perfect clearance. If your air gap is too close, the flywheel can rub. Uh, if it's too far away, you might have trouble starting and might not run great. So you really do want it within that specification. So really that's all it takes to do your air gap on your coils. It's super simple. All you need is some painter's tape or some feeler gauges and a flywheel puller. I will post a link where you can get the flywheel puller, feeler gauges. I'm not going to post a link for painter's tape. If you really want, I can throw a post for Amazon, but you can get this and you should have it just laying around your house. All right. Hope this video helped. Like and subscribe. Buy me a coffee if you can. Thanks.